Howdy, I'm Cyberax with a wonderfully crafted. And today, I'm gonna take you on a tour of my space game. Yes, I'm gonna give you a full update of where the space game is at, show it off, and uh, for you guys that have never seen anything about it, we're just gonna give you a quick tour of what we're doing here. So, right off the bat, we've got the soul system here. We got our sun, we got our space stations, and you start the game out here uh, with the soul system, and then you expand out into the galaxy. And right now we have 20 systems in the galaxy. Out there you can go expand to, and you can discover more as you play the game. So you can see we also have a flight system, we have a combat system, I hold shift to stop, and then we also have mining lasers, and we have cannons to shoot bad things. And we've got a ship, and we've got an inside of the ship, so we can come over and we can... Now, uh, ride, we can dock, we can shoot space stations, all those little things, plus hordes of other things I won't show off today. I wanted to show off more, just the status of where we're at. So, let's jump into a few first things. Right off the bat, we have our guns, we have some uh, fuel ore that we just mined. We've got crew now, so crew, you click, oh, let's jump over to game mode S. So crew has a backstory. You can uh, use the special for that crew. Each crew has a special, so this one increases mining results. So if you do that and then you go mine, you get a bonus to your mining and you get more mining resources. Right? And then you you can also say you want to fire, you are fired. And get rid of them. Get out! You can eject them into space, and then they're inside this cargo container, and you can say goodbye, and they are gone. Okay? Now, we also have owners and so owners is this guy down here and owners is you and you through playing the game get access to lots of different owners and right now they're just visual um, but down the road we might make them also have specials so these are all the owners you can be so if you want to be this guy you can be that guy and if you want to be that guy you can be that guy and if you want to be that guy you can be that guy um, and it just represents you, it just gives you the ability to be who and what you want, right? If you want to be that chick, you can be that chick. And we got that. So, that's part of the ship system. Now, let's jump in to the ship, and we'll just jump around the ship. So, right off the bat, we have... Um, game menu, that's how we go. We set up the game, so we join a new game or we create the server, help stats, settings, um, stuff like that, right? And then we also have captain's orders, so we can ping all of the systems um, out there and they'll start to glow uh, to just make it easier to find stuff, and that's pretty cool. We can go on a spacewalk and Oh, I probably should not do a spacewalk while I'm in the Welcome back, Captain. of nowhere. So we'll jump back over and let's go find somewhere to spacewalk so we can land here and then we can Captain's Orders spacewalk. And now we're spacewalking around and then we have a hand laser which you see I need to do some work on oh he ate it yeah I gotta fix that you got a hand uh, laser you can use as well and then you also can 
you know, just go jump off into space and just kind of be a little, a little dude, enjoying a good time. Uh, and then you can go back to your spaceship. Captain on the bridge. Okay, so we got that. Now we also have got chairs. So we got captain's chairs. We got the helm. Um, let's jump back into first person. So now we've got the helm. We've got navigation. And helm, I just have open. I need to change that. We got navigation, so that takes you to the mini map, so you can see where you're at in the galaxy. So right here, where this little ship, Sol's there, Earth's over here. When you get out of the Sol system, it changes, and then there's just Sol in the middle, and you'll be where you're at in the galaxy. This goes up to like a hundred thousand um, blocks. Okay, and then in navigation, you can see we can um, jump back to the soul system, the closest system, stuff like that. And helm, we can warp to different distances and it uses up fill, uh, fuel. And then we've got the radio system and we've got three radio stations you can turn on. I'd like to add more down the road. Uh, and then we've got the crew area where you can go and chill and get some food. Um, the monkeys watching the ship right now for you. Make sure no, uh, pirates come in and then on the far right side you can see how many days we've been in this world 2268 um, now let's talk about variations because this is a great place to just talk about how do you up captain on the bridge ship so the helmets control your ship and so you add a helmet, and I, I'm going to change the helmet to be something else. It's your bridge, but you change the helmet changes what ship you have. Okay. That also changes the insides of the ship. So it's it textures and changes all of the stuff that you're doing. So we can go to the leather version. So now we've got a leather ship. And if we jump outside the ship, it changes the style of the ship, right? And then we could go to chainmail. So now we've got a chainmail ship. And then on the inside it changes the style. Welcome of the ship. back, Captain. Okay. And then we could also then change to an entirely different ship. So now we've upgraded ships. And now we're in a different ship altogether. And I've still not decided if different ships will have different inventories. Like maybe I'll lock these out or maybe they'll have less crew. I don't know. Um, the crew can just be put in and moved out where the weapons are actually there. So I'm not sure on that. But the, they could also have different weapons too. And then now when we go to the different seats, they go to different things. So, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, we'll just warp ourselves out into the middle of nowhere. So now when we go to seats, if we go to navigation, then it goes to the navigation inside that ship. If we go to radio, it goes to the radio station area inside that ship. If we go to the living area, then it goes to the living area inside that ship. And I'd like to have, you know, two to five locations for each ship. Now, um, okay, so we got that. Let's go back to the soul system. Um, to give you some other ideas, we also then have settings. So you could, like, close the blinds. And maybe you're just chilling. It's late at night. And you just want to look at the stars. So you can turn off the lights. And you can just chill in your dimly nice view with the earth in the the background right okay so now you've got all of that and then we've got you can mine you can build your own space station uh, space stations, buildings, expand out into the galaxy, and then all of these um, 
have different, wait, why isn't this coming up? Oh, I'm not pushing the right spot. Uh, then you have stores for all of the equipment and the stuff you can buy. Um, weapons for the space stations, goods, medical supplies, um, equipment, fuel, ore. Um, that's the like Walmart concept. And then you've got a training station, the brain labs. And this is where you get station staff, farming staff, uh, more crew, owners. Uh, you've got Wendy's, you've got Hypergate. We'll come back to the Hypergate. You've got the trade post, so you can trade. You've got the mall, so you can go and expand, which helps gives you all of this other stuff. You've got processing plant, where you bring your ores and all the stuff you grow to trade it in for money and other things. You got the ship repair and uh, shipyards, where you buy the parts to expand the ship. Now, also keep in mind, that in the ship we can um, so how how we're doing modular ships is you then take your boots and now the boots are the landing gear of the feet and then you take the leggings and you put some leggings in Oops, sorry, those aren't leggings. You put some leggings in, and now the leggings are part of the wings or whatever. And so the ship is modular based on what you add to it. So you can, and the goal overall is to do that with the space stations as well. Now let's talk about a few other things. The space stations have destructibility. So you can uh, start shooting the space stations and break them to the point where you can see like the O is already tilted, but they'll actually start breaking down and uh, show the damage of the space stations as well. So that's kind of fun. And then they also should give out cargo containers and cargo stuff. Um, as you play so as you do damage to them then they're going to give you resources um, and parts that kick out as well as uh, fight back in some cases so we have the police the police station over here if i summon some pirates how about a hundred pirates then the police station will start fighting the pirates, the pirates will start trying to fight me, and then I can bring in my own uh, fighters, or I can buy fighters from this guy. Of course, it all still needs some work, but you kind of see the idea. He's shooting me because uh, one of the pirates keeps jumping on me and landing on me and then he's following me around because he's on me and so he's trying to get the people that are f chasing me off of me which is kind of funny so then we have the whole combat system now let's talk about pve pvp so if we jump to the end and we also have the nether as well now we jump to the end now we have the PvP, PvE area, and so this is you versus everybody else versus the dragon, and the dragon is pirates um, and bad guys, and so you have you versus them, and the, the uh, dragon just keeps bringing pirates in. And you are supposed to be bringing fighters in. So that your fighters now are going to fight the pirates, the dragons bring in, and we're going to have a big old fancy battle. And then you can jump into your captain's menu. So captains, fleet, and you can tell your fleet what to do. So attack, roll, whatever, patrol, sorry. 
and then you can tell them, hey, start fighting back, or hey, defend me. Some of this definitely needs more work. Um, you know, but it's, it's there and it's functional. It just needs to be addressed more. You can see this one's been just messed up. So it's all beat up and broken. You can uh, repair it. These bases don't have destructibility yet. I need to put something in. But you can see these bases are here too. These are player bases. So they have storage, expandability, and other stuff they do. So that's PvE, PV, uh, P area. We could jump back to normal space. We could go to hyperspace, which is the nether. So then you can be in the nether mining and doing stuff as well, which we have other plans for. Okay, so let's get that gets us back here. Right now, I don't have the particles turning on for the planets right away. They're timed, um, but I'll, I plan to fix that so they pop in right away. But you can see some of the stuff slowly turning on. It's over 300 seconds they'll turn on. Okay, next I want to show you what we've been doing recently, which is new, which is over here, and that is adding internals to the space stations. So now when you go to a space station uh, and you click on it, when you're in the menu system, you go into the space station and I've done the insides uh, or I've been working on the inside. So you could say, let's look at the picture and you can go look at the picture. Or you could say, let's look at the control panel and you could look at the control panel and there's buttons and stuff you can just interact with and play with. And then uh, we could go back to like the check-in area. Oh, we want to go look at this private area back there. So we could go and we see, oh, there's a doggo and we could feed the doggo some food. And then we could jump back to check-in. Oh, well, let's go see the med bay. So here's the med bay and we could jump in and we could check. And then we could re hear some recordings of the doctor talking that are part of the story. And then we could go back to, oh, we want to see... Um, the, we need to go to the bathroom, so we jump into the bathroom of the med bay, we wash our hands, and maybe we drink some water, we uh, flush, use and flush the toilet. Maybe we need to lay down and get some healing meds or boost or get some food oh, meds. Hey, uh, that's uh, a lot and of so meds we lay down here. on the You're bed for a minute and get some meds. And, that, uh, take it easy. and then we jump back, and then we go to the bridge. The bridge is what I've been working on. This is where I'm at right now. So you see, I don't have any interactions or anything to do, but there'll be a few places in here that you go to to expand the solar system and add in all of that other stuff you see, because you just start with the outpost and then you expand out. Um, and so this gives you an idea of what we're doing for the insides. And overall, my goal is I'd really like to add the insides for all of the space stations and um, player ports and all of the stuff um, I think there's probably 15 to 20 of them that we'd add stuff into and then you have stuff like this guy's a trader so he's just, or sorry he's a miner and so he works for the AI he works for this guy miners den so you could come over here and you could hire miners and they'll mine for you and they'll make you money passively um, so that there's passive type of stuff you could go do the mining yourself you could become a farmer there's uh space farms you could um go explore and find space plants and animals out there right now i don't have the scanner working but my goal is that you'll be able to go to different planets and different places and find animals and aliens and scan them um, we do have some test aliens i just added um, I think you probably saw them earlier. They're floating around somewhere, I think, around here. You know, maybe they're over at Earth? I don't think so. I think they're here. But, yeah, so we're trying to add some life to the universe of space aliens, and I'd like to have um, a, some cities on the the planets that you could probably land at and maybe get a few views inside of as well and have some interactions with 
some things we didn't show, you know, at Earth you get um, you can get colonists, or you bring food back to Earth to get colonists, and then you take those colonists and take them to your planets and your bases to grow and get more stuff. And so this is where you get your colonists to, to take them out to expand, you know, the world. And then you've got, of course, uh, Windies because there's no wind in space, so it's a good pun. Um, and this is where you get food and resources, and then you could also hire some crew, um, or find a an owner image you like better. Then we've got planet um, ports, and planet ports are the same thing. You can expand them out. So you got a theater, a bank, farms, defense, and cities. Um, so here we've added a city. The city takes those colonists and gives you goods and gives you resources and so you build the cities and all of that stuff and then you you know from there on out and you can build these around the galaxy um, I think the only one I haven't shown you is the space farms and I've shown those in some of the other videos uh, yeah, so that's a good amount of where we're at on the game. There's a whole bunch of, like, co-op stuff that I've added as well. So if you're on, like, a space train like this in co-op, you share... Uh, you, the, the space train has an inventory that you can share stuff between. Um, you can ride each other, so the the co-op players can ride each other so they can be shooting while the co-op players are while the main player is driving and then the, there's some specials involved there and some stuff you can do so we've been at, trying to add some co-op and pve style stuff as well um, to continue just to expand out the the gameplay and the concepts of what you can do um, this is a workstation, so here you can do missions or, you know, it's stuff like, hey, go out and get salvage or go out and get um, work um, uh, or do a job. And then when you do the job, it has it completed and you get stuff for it. But that's about the base of where we're at today. Um, we're almost ready for an alpha uh, a pre-alpha maybe test for um, I want this one let me click it we're almost ready for a pre-alpha test for the co-op side of things I just have a few commands that are broken here in the dialog boxes that I need to fix that just aren't working for co-op they work fine in here or if you were around when the game was started or this you know space station but I just have a few bugs I need to fix. But other than that, it's coming along. So this has been, uh, this is my space game. I think right now I'm calling it Beyond Human Soul, uh, which is a play on this being the soul system and humanity versus AI and the soul. Do AI have soul? A lot of people are asking, does AI art have soul? Um... So those are some good questions we're going to have to deal with. So Beyond the Human Soul, I believe, is the working title right now. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, CyberX with Outlandishly Crafted. And this has been my progress update and showing off features of my space game in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you have any comments or suggestions or ideas of things to add or things to change out or things you would uh, like to see, or um, let me know. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring those bells and keep the YouTube overlords happy so other people can see what we're doing.